Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how to remember men syndromes, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndromes, once and for all. Okay. So basically, there are three types of men syndromes: men one, men two a, and men two b. I'll deal one by one. Men one syndrome, also known as Wormer syndrome. Men one syndrome has three components, which starts with three P's, and the organ of interest are pituitary gland in head, parathyroid in the neck, and pancreas in abdomen. So the three P's stand for pituitary adenoma, parathyroid hyperplasia, and pancreatic tumors. Men one syndrome three P's: pituitary, parathyroid, and pancreatic tumors. Simple. Coming to men 2A and men 2B. Men 2A is also known as Sippel syndrome. Remember, men 2A and men 2B have two things in common. One is medullary carcinoma of thyroid, and one more is pheochromocytoma. So the two organ of interest are thyroid and adrenal gland. And the two letters M and P, medullary carcinoma of thyroid and pheochromocytoma. As I said, medullary carcinoma of thyroid and pheochromocytoma are the two components you should remember in men 2A and men 2B. But what differentiates is parathyroid hyperplasia in men 2A. Remember, in men 1 also we have parathyroid hyperplasia, and men 2A also we have parathyroid hyperplasia. But in men 2B, we have two other external features, and they start with letter M. Mucosal neuromas and Marfanoid habitus. So, as I said, men 2A and men 2B have two things in common medullary carcinoma of thyroid and pheochromocytoma, and the differentiating feature being parathyroid hyperplasia in men 2A and mucosal neuromas and Marfanoid habitus in men 2B. I'll summarize, men 1 has 3 P's, pituitary adenoma, parathyroid hyperplasia, and pancreatic tumors, whereas men 2A and men 2B has two things in common, as I said, medullary carcinoma of thyroid and pheochromocytoma, whereas parathyroid hyperplasia is in 2A, mucosal neuromas and marfan diabetes are present in 2B. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel Medical Maniacs for more such videos.